This is House of Transport. My name is Gideo Dioye, the Transport Master. Welcome to our Road Etiquette series. The last episode we discussed issues about overspeeding. This episode we shall be touching on issues about the use of seat belts whilst driving. A lot of people like to argue and ask what's the government's business in enforcing the use of seat belts in a car. A lot of drivers don't understand the benefits of using the seatbelt while they're driving. A lot of drivers take offense in being fined or being arrested for not using the seatbelt. A lot of drivers feel their freedom is being inhibited by the use of seatbelts. We can tackle all these issues as we go along. And please join us in the comment section later on our social media handles. The first one is, is seat belts important? The answer is absolutely yes. Why? Because in the event of a vehicle crashing, what the seat belt will do is to restrain you inside the car in your seat as opposed to being propelled out of the windscreen that could lead to all sorts of different things. And this is pretty important for the driver, the passenger in the front, and the passengers at the back as well. It is not uncommon for passengers at the back of a vehicle to also crash into the passenger in front because they're not wearing a seat belt. At the end of the day, it all spells of danger. You cannot ask, so what's the government's business in trying to enforce the use of seat belts. Well, the government's interest would be the fact that if there was an accident and there was serious injury or fatality, then it probably means that the road will be closed, the other agencies will be called in, ambulance and fire brigade and the police to come and attend to the issue. All that can be avoided. And the government is interested, right, in not, not wasting resources. So if you think it's not the government's business, it really, really is the government's business. Then the second bit is about your family and those that love you. If anything should happen to you out of carelessness, not using your seatbelt. It's not just about you, there are people who love you. So if you end up in hospital critically injured, or unfortunately loss of life, there are so many people that will be in tears. And I'm very sure that is not something that you want. There's a purpose for seat belts, and the way to wear seat belts is also important for us to understand. We're aware some people just try to make fun of it and have a joke around it. They will pull the seat belt, and instead of clicking it, they will probably hang it under the seat because they only feel it's important when they notice an enforcement officer ahead. Or some can take the seat belt and just hang it under their armpit. That is so totally improper. It serves no purpose. So you've got to appreciate the reason and the purpose that the seat belt is there. So many drivers will drive thinking that we're, the, we're in sole control of every situation. No, we're not. You see, you're only in control of your own car. You can only drive within your own car. But if somebody else is driving contrary to the way you drive or contrary to the laws that are on the ground that leads to an accident or incidents, then you can be affected. If you have not properly secured yourself, then you leave yourself to danger because you just don't know. I don't think anybody wakes up in the morning and prays that they will be involved in an accident yet. We have recorded accidents all over the world every single day where vehicles are concerned. You just don't want to be one of those victims. So we urge you to understand the benefit of wearing seat belts. In Lagos State, when you're caught by officers, enforcement officers on the road, you'll be fined. I'm pretty sure you don't want to be paying that kind of fine. As bad as the economic situation may be, that is not where you want to be spending your money. And there's no point in arguing like 
why do we have different officers on the roads enforcing seat belts? The point is in Lagos State, any traffic officer on the road, under whatever agency, has a right and the law backing them to arrest any driver or motorist driving without seat belt. So we would urge you to consider that factor. Don't say it's just this specific agency that has a right, this agency doesn't have a right. As long as there are enforcement officers in uniform, they have every right to arrest you for not wearing your seat belt. So you look at the benefits again, you save your life, you save the lives of everybody else that is on the road, you don't damage your vehicle, you don't create an accident or create chaos on the public highway, and you don't get arrested and you'll be paying fine. And the simple thing to do, a standard process, as soon as you enter your car or you enter any vehicle, the next action should be you reaching out for your seatbelt and clicking it properly. That way you can't go wrong. That way you can't say I forgot because it becomes a personal habit every single time you step into your vehicle. Some people may argue and say, well, if they're heavily pregnant, if you're very pregnant, the law says, depending on the, the length of your pregnancy, whether you can drive or not, but as long as you're driving, you should seat belt. If you're not able to click the belt, then perhaps you should be a passenger at the back of the car rather than in the front. There's no law, there's absolutely no law that says a wife or partner must sit in the front while the other partner is driving. There's no law. If you sit at the back, nothing happens to you. Safety is a key word. Always remember that. Your seatbelt is important. Thank you for listening. Do share this or follow us on all our social media handles. And look forward to the next episode where we shall be discussing another episode, another issue on our series that you're already aware of, the Road Etiquette Series. Thank you.